When you close your eyes and think anime, what do you see? Perhaps you see a young girl working in a bathhouse in the spirit world. A horrifying action show about a boy trying to free the world from a titanic-sized threat. Or perhaps you see a battle show where the fights are drawn out with a lot of yelling and beautiful blonde hair. While these are all definitely really fun anime to sit back and enjoy, there are also many other anime made for an entirely different reason, such as being made to express the author's feelings into, or in this specific case, their feelings of World War II into. Although World War II affected the whole world, it is hard to argue that Japan didn't have it a lot worse than most, with everything that happened to them. And because of this, World War II had a large effect on anime films by encouraging the filmmakers to put their feelings and thoughts of the war into the media that they create such as having a variety of references to World War II events, creating nationalistic propaganda for the wartime youth, or just to express their personal ideals and experiences of what happened to them. The best example of references to World War II would have to be in the widely popular film Akira, or Akita for all the otakus out there. Please no mean comments, I'm really trying my best. By Katsuhiro Otomo, who grew up in the milieu of post-Holocaust Japan, the world of Akira is the result of an atomic bomb being dropped years before, which the film opens on. There is also the second explosion which comes at the end of the film, in the form of Akira covering everything in a bright light, mirroring the explosion from the beginning of the movie, both of which mirror the bombs that were dropped in World War II on Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Akira is far from the only example, however. As political science professor Frank Fuller puts it, the finale of Akira is only one example of apocalyptic imagery in the anime and manga canon. A number of anime films and comics are rife with atomic bomb references, which appear in a number of forms, from the symbolic to the literal. The devastating after effects, orphaned kids, radiation sickness, a loss of national independence, the destruction of nature, would also influence the genre, giving rise to unique and arguably incomparable form of comics and animated film. While many anime contained references to World War II, no anime was quite as involved with World War II as the propaganda. With the advent of World War II, animators and studios were thrust into the duty of creating animation for wartime documentaries, instructional films, and works of entertainment. One of these works of entertainment was the Japanese film Momotaro Sacred Sailors, which was used during the war years in school readers as a primary part of nationalistic propaganda. The film follows a group of animals as they go from a group of happy kids to helpful soldiers during World War II. The film was impossible to find in America during those times. These films were important at the time of war, but now they are rarely discussed. The most important films to rise from World War II are the films that contain the author's personal ideals and experiences. One of the most well-known films in this category is the heart-wrenching Grave of Fireflies, written and directed by Isao Takahata, and animated by Studio Ghibli. It was based on a short story of the same name, written by Akiyuki Nosaka. When Nosaka was young, he experienced a bomber dropping napalm canisters onto the city of Kobe, where he was living. This led to the death of multiple family members. He eventually put all of his emotions and feelings into his short story, which he titled Grave of Fireflies. Grave of Fireflies is a movie that promotes deep sympathy for the Japanese people, and it certainly struck a chord among Japanese audiences when it was released. All of these examples show just how impactful World War II was to the anime industry, influencing many works and creating many classics that are among many people's favorite. Akira is world-renowned, and the only reason you wouldn't know of it is if you legitimately lived under a rock. So many authors use the medium of anime to express their feelings using references to World War II events, propaganda, or their own personal experiences, making it one of, if not the, most impactful event to affect the world of anime.